And the more times you're depressed, the more of your billions of neurons and supporting cells end up with those markers that makes you more vulnerable. And most of the, uh, the antidepressants we give people um, cause second messenger activity that, that make new markers work adjacent to those pathological markers, which turn genes back on that are turned off that allow proteins to be produced that resolve the depression. Certain forms of therapy will help with that as well, but if you've had enough episodes, the therapies alone tend to often not be as effective. Mm -hmm. Other treatments like transcranial magnetic stimulation, which is a strong electromagnet that gives pulses of magnetic energy right across the cranium, activating the, the underactive prefrontal cortex, uh, have been shown to move the circuits back to their non-depressed state and turn these healthy genes back on. And we've been able to sustain people without medication with a single treatment once a month once they're well. And so there are, there are treatments that can do this, but but the brain is pliable and changeable, and, and as we have more of these episodes, we're more vulnerable to future ones.